He has a very interesting question on solving inequalities. Question is, x minus 1 times x plus 3 times 2 to the power of x is less than 0. We need to find the solution that is the interval in which x will result into this inequality. Now what we can do is we can find the zeros for this equation. Now from this equation x minus 1 equals to 0 means that x is equal to 1 and x plus 3 equals to 0 means x equals to minus 3, right? So at these two points this expression will be 0. We are looking for the interval when this expression is less than 0. So what we are trying to do here is, let us say we have a number line here. Then on the number line, we have two points at x equals to minus 3. So this is minus 3, let us say. And at x equals to 1, where this expression will be 0. So let me just say that these two points divide the whole plane into three different intervals, correct? So that is the line and this line which I have shown here is at minus 3 and at 1. So at these points we have 0. So let me make a hole here since we are looking for values less than 0, not equal to 0. So sure, this is not part of our solution but from somewhere in between we have a solution. Now how to find what is the interval? As you can see here, it divides into interval from minus infinity to minus 3, then we have interval from minus 3 to 1 and then 1 to infinity, correct? So these are the three intervals. So let me write down the intervals now here as from minus infinity to minus 3, from minus 3 to 1 and from 1 to infinity. Now what we will do is that we will take some test points and then test what is the solution, right? So let me write down the test points. So test points could be between minus infinity to minus 3, let us take test point as minus 4. In this interval, let's take 0 as our test point. 1 to infinity, let's take as our test point. Now in the expression we have three different factors. So we'll consider each factor one at a time. So the first factor is x minus 1, the second one is x plus 3 and the third one is 2 to the power of x. So we are not really interested in their value but we want to know whether they are positive or negative in these intervals, right? Now x minus 4 if I place minus x minus 1. If I place minus 4, I'll get negative 5. So basically it will be negative, right? If I put 0 here, 0 minus 1 will be negative. If I place replace x with 2, 2 minus 1 will be positive. Okay. The next factor x plus 3 will be negative for negative 4, positive for 0 and positive for 2. 2 to the power of x in the entire domain will always be positive, right? So we get these signs. Now, if you multiply, the factors means you got to multiply them, right? If you multiply them, two negatives and a positive, you'll get positive, correct? One negative and two positives, you're going to get negative. Three positives, when multiplied together, will give you positive. We are looking for less than one. That means negative, right? So, so that becomes part of our solution. Do you see that? So less than zero means negative, right? Negative value for the given expression. So negative value is during the interval minus three to one. So that is our solution, right? And therefore our answer is that the interval is that x is greater than minus three but less than one. Right, so that is the solution. I hope the solution and the steps are absolutely clear. So whenever you have factored form of inequality, it is better to find the zeros and then test for points on either side of the zeros and see what satisfies the inequality and then write down your answer, right? So the answer is that x is greater than 
minus 3 and less than 1. Whenever written in this form, it is assumed that x belongs to real numbers, right? An alternate way of writing this was also like this. Anyway, so that is how we can write down this answer. Thank you and all the best.